critic at large with Gilbert Smythe Bite Me. Welcome to this, the final installment of my incisive look at the Academy Awards. This just in, Angelina Jolie has filed an application to adopt all the nominees who lose. <laughs> And now the moment we've all been keenly anticipating the best picture of the year, and the nominees are... The Queen. The story of how Her Royal Majesty reacted to the death of Princess Diana, or as Liz herself referred to it, an inconvenient truth. <laughs> Why would I want to see a bunch of humorless, emotionally repressed, pickle-up-the-wazoo snooty Brits when I can go live in Victoria? <laughs> him, him, him. Loser. <laughs> Next nominee, Babel. No, this is not a Dick Cheney speech on Iraq. <laughs> it's the touching story of a Moroccan shepherd, a pair of disillusioned American tourists, a deaf Japanese teenager, and a Mexican nanny whose lives intersect. This is not a movie. That's my last visit to 7-Eleven. <laughs> Also nominated, Clint Eastwood's Japanese masterpiece, Letters from Iwo Jima, a.k.a. Crouching Tiger, Dirty Harry. <laughs> this movie is in Japanese. You want to know what I really think of it? Nihonga Hokon Ega Daga Choti Monkega Sori Wa Godzilla Dudu. Next, Martin Scorsese's The Departed. This film has all the drama of the nutrients list on a box of craft dinner. <laughs> and finally, Little Miss Sunshine. It's about a road trip taken by a personality disorder family, including a father who's a complete failure, a heroin-addicted grandfather, a self-obsessed brother, a frustrated whack-job mother, and a dysfunctional uncle. I'm rather attracted to all of them. <laughs> Winner! And that's how I see the Academy Awards. Not that I'll be watching. I'm smarter than you. I'm Gilbert Smythe. Bite me.